Hello everyone, welcome back to Get Joy Tips and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix the Texas chain so massacre is having crashing issue, it is not launching, freezing and stuttering, stuck on loading screen, low FPS drop and even black screen which is happening for many of users right now and how we can fix this up. So let's dive into the workaround. The first one we have to do a simple restart. To do a simple restart, we have to go over here in the search, click on this particular icon, go over here in the power icon over here and go for a restart. So this is what we have to do, just click on the restart. Once the restart is done, try launching the game and this is what we have to do. So this is the basic step which we need, which we need to try out. Next one is all about, we need to try with the next one, that is all about, we need to verify integrity of game file. For verify integrity of game file, we have to go over here, right click over here and go to the properties. Go to the installed file, just click on the verify integrity of game file. So this is going to take a lot of time because this will cross check every single files of a game and if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this. So let me do this. So once you go for this, it is going to take a bit of time. So we need to wait because this has to completely, uh, this has to get completely done. Once afterwards, you can try launch the game. So let me wait for this. So uh, this has to reach 100% so let us wait this to reach 100% So So guys, as you can see, there are five not files which is successfully validated. It cross check every single files of a game. So, <coughs> sorry. So once after that, try launching the game. This is what you have to do. So even after trying with this, if the issue is still there, you can try with the next one that we need to launch the game from the installation folder. So right now we are launching the game from Steam, which is one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue. To fix this, just go over here in the game, right click over here and go to the properties, go to install it file, just click on the browse. Now if you check, as you can see, this is the location, that is this PC, local disk D, Steam library, Steam apps, common, and from here we have to launch this one. So this is the application, so launch this one and see. 
So most probably when you're launching this particular application, which is running the, uh, you are launching the game from the installation folder, it will be working fine because it worked for many of the users. For me, it worked for the games like GTA 5 Online, Remnant 2, and even for the Ratchet and Clank Rift Apart. So once afterwards, we have to move to the next step. So even you try launch the game from the installation folder, if it's not working, you can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to run the game as an administrator. So just go over here on the game, right click over here and go to the show more option and go to properties, go to the compatibility and just click over here Run this program as an administrator. So we have to run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for OK. So try afterwards if the issue is still there, you can also try with the next one that we have to run the game in the compatibility mode. I'm going to show all these three steps here because we are in the installation folder. So let me select this one once again, go for show more option, go to properties, go to compatibility, click on run this program in compatibility mode. So you have to either set this to Windows 7, you have to set this to Windows 7 and go for apply, or you can set this to Windows 8 and you can go for apply. You can set this to anything and once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Even if it's still, it's not working, we can try with the next one. That is all about, we need to make sure that we need to do is we just need to turn on the time time zone and region so just go over here in the search and we have to go to settings from here we have to go to time and language go for date and time make sure the time and time zone should be turned it on so this has to be turned it on and we have to go back go to the language and region now from here we have to select this so we have to select so if you're from united states select united states you have to select the country from which you are living select the geography accordingly once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about, we need to click on the play button, but at the same time, we have to press Alt and Tab from the keyboard. I don't know how this is related, but this did work for many users. They just launch the game and press Alt and Tab from the keyboard and it worked for many users. Next one is all about, we need to delete the saved game file. So just go to the file explorer. Now from here, we have to go to this PC, go to the documents. Over here, you will be find the folder on the game. So right now, when you started playing the game and saving each progressions, you will be having the folder. So just delete the respective folder of the game. That is the Texas Chainsaw Massacre has to be deleted from here. And you have to keep in mind, you will be losing all the progressions, but that is fine. Just delete it. Once afterwards, just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about, we need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search. We have to go to not settings. We have to go over here in the search and go to control panel. Just search for control panel. Go for system and security. Go for Windows Defender Firewall. Go for allow an app or feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Keep scrolling down and navigate to the game. So you need to find the game. So if the game is not there, you don't have to get panic. We can add it by default. Just keep scrolling down. As you can see, the text has changed, so Massacre is already added and the private and public has to be checked. So if the game is not here, we can add it by default. Just click on the change settings. Now go to allow another app, go for browse, go to this PC, go to local disk D, go to Steam library, go to Steam apps, go to common. Now from here, I have to find the game. So uh, I have to find the game. So. Uh, if the game is not installed here, you have to, uh, most probably you have to check. Okay, here it is. Select this one and go for open and add it. So you have to add the game. If the game is not there, we can add it by this way. Just close this and go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about nothing, but we have to unplug all the USB devices. So one of the main reason why we are having the crashing issue and all those things because US, USB might be already connected and filled with many things. So that is one of the main reasons. So remove everything. For example, Logitech wheel, a joystick, controllers, remove everything. Once you remove everything, launch the game. If the game is finally working fine and you can connect it back and try playing the game with the controllers or joystick or whatever you wanted to do, you can continue with us. Next one is all about, we need to perform a clean boot. Just go over here in the search and we have to go for system configuration. Now from here, we have to go to services, go for disable all, go for hide all Microsoft services, go for apply and go for OK. So there are two options. Those who are watching this, the users who are watching this, go for restart. I'm going to go for exit without a restart because uh, I'm here in the middle of shooting. So I'm going to go for exit without a restart. Once it is done, you can try launch the game. It worked for many users, so you can try this out as well. Next one is all about 
we need to disable the steam overlay for this we just need to go over here in the game right click over here and go to the properties over here as you can see you have to make sure this is disabled if it is enabled you have to disable this try launch the key if that is not working just go over here in the launch option this is another step that is all about giving commands in the launch option so just go over here type the first command that is dx11 so give the command dx11 and launch the game if dx11 is not working try with dx12 and try launching the game so either dx11 or dx12 any one of the things will be working fine so you can try with this one so dx11 or dx12 will be working fine so once afterwards we just need to close this up and we need to launch the game next one is all about we can try with the next one that is all about we need to close all the overlay application so just go over here in the search go to the start right click over here and go to the task manager now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background so when you are launching the game at the same time these things are running in the background which is causing for one of the crashing issue so what we need to do is we just need to go over here find the unwanted things for example this code is comes comes in the category of unwanted things and we have to keep scrolling down and navigate to many other things like for example we have to navigate to for example riva tuner msa afterburn etc all these comes at others so just find all these things unwanted things has to be removed once afterwards is close this and we have to go back and launch the game next one is all about we need to run the game on dedicated graphics card so just go over here in the search we have to go to graphics settings now here the game is not added as you can see i have very recently added all the games same way you have to add it just click on the browse now go to this pc go to local disk d go to steam library go to steam apps select common go to tcsm find this one it's added so once it's added you have to so let's just click on the option as you can see by default this would be let windows decide we have to change this to high performance because then only it will be working fine go for save close this go back sorry go back and try launch the game next one is all about we need to increase the virtual memory so just go over here in the search search for view advanced system settings go to advanced tab go for settings once again go to advanced once again go for change and over here you have to uncheck this and select the local disk where the game is installed so i'm having three local disks i have to select this one go for custom size set the value for initial size and uh, maximum size initial size is 1.5 times the total ram and the maximum size is 3 times the total ram so we have to go over here we need a calculator to do the calculation just type your ram so my ram is 32 gb so i'm writing this you have to type your ram multiply with a constant value that is 1024 and you have to multiply it with 1.5 so that brings you 49152 so just copy this and we have to paste it go for the next one that is 32 gb multiplied with 1024 and multiply it with 3 that brings you 98304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well once you set this just give okay and close this do a restart and once afterwards just go back and try launch the game next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here in the search and we have to go to settings from here we have to go to windows update from here we have to make sure that the windows should be up to date so if you are having any kind of update just update the windows for running these kind of games the os has to be in the latest version so just update the windows once afterwards just close this and we have to go back and try launching the game next one is we need to run the game we have to update the graphics card so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as for the amd nvidia users have to go to this link select everything the product type product series product operating system language etc so select everything and you can go for everything has to be selected go for start search now when you go for start search what happens is as you can see you will be getting these options so i have to select the respectively i have to select the 40 series i have to select all the configuration correctly then only you will be getting this option and once you get this particular option you have to go over here and right now as you can see 536.99 is the released version that is on August 8 2023 so just download this install restart is a mandatory next one if you're on the amd just go over here in the graphics select every details and go for submit now from here we have two option windows 11 download this one if you're on windows 10 you have to download this one afterwards try installing next one is all about a restart is a mandatory next one is all about we have to install the microsoft visual c++ we can download this one so i'll be providing link in the description 
so if the system is based on 64 you can download this this one if the system is based on 86 you can download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game so even after trying all these things the issue is not working you can try with the next one that is all about we can uninstall the game and reinstalling it back for this just go over here in the game right click over here and go to the manage and install the game for reinstalling it back you have to keep in mind when you're doing this if the game is uninstalled from C, try installing it back on D. If you uninstall the game from D, try it on E. If you already uninstall the game from D, try it either on C or E. This is what you have to do. So these are the possible workaround which, can, which you have to do when it comes to how to fix the chain, the Texas chain so massacre is having crashing, not launching, freezing and stuttering, low FPS drop, black screen, stuck on loading screen and all these kind of issues. And I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe and bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.